So one last question I had for my system was, will it run off of a generator and do everything I need it to do? If I'm out boondocking and I need to assist with a generator for some reason, will a relatively small generator like this work? So this puts out about 2,800, 2,900 watts of power on propane. And I've currently got it plugged into a, a 15 amp receptacle, uh, partly because I haven't broken into the generator yet. And it, the manual says to run it for uh, at no more than 50% for five hours. So while I'm doing that, the generator comes in here and goes through a standard RV dog bone adapter and converts it to the 50 amp and goes into my Victron setup. Now this is not how I would actually do it. Um, you know, there are, I, there are two AC inputs in here, so the generator would be wired into the other input. So I will test that at some point. What I wanted to do right away was make sure that this would run off the generator. So because it's single phase, what's happening is one, in, one unit, one quattro is on inverter. The other one's connected to mains and is currently charging. And you can see I'm pulling 1600 watts off of the generator right now. I have 950 watts of AC load, so the leftover is charging the battery. I have a heater here plugged in to the whole system here. And if I, if I turn this on, then I barely hear the generator do anything. I'm starting, I'm drawing more power here. I'm actually drawing, I was drawing less from the, the generator here. And you can see now the Quattro is in assist mode. So there's no longer enough power from the generator alone to feed all of the uh, power requirements. So now it's pulling 1600 off the generator, 800 off the batteries and combining all of that to give me the loads that I need. If I shut this off, it's gonna go back to charging the battery. And that is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. The Victrons are not complaining. It's back into bulk charging mode. It's not complaining about the generator. And that's only at 15 amps. So I should be able to ramp this up to uh, quite a bit more than that. Uh, once I, um, I think I have the dog bone adapter to go from 30 to, uh, to 50. Um, but what I'll probably do is just wire the, get the wire, get the generator wired into the second input here and make sure that this all is configured to transfer over to the generator and that it works at those higher currents, but I can't do that until the generator has been running for a while. So that's great. I'm, I'm so happy about that. That was like a big unknown, you know, purchasing that generator. That wasn't a terribly cheap generator. Um, you know, it's an inverter generator. It's relatively quiet. It's, it's uh, uh, the champion brand dual fuel and uh, which is great because it'll run off propane I don't have to worry about carrying gasoline around especially because my car doesn't even my you know my truck is diesel so I would be carrying yet another fuel around and carrying around fuel is just smelly and noisy and annoying so I'll be able to run it off the propane that's already on the RV if I need it hopefully I have sized my system such that the solar or the batteries will prevent me from needing to run the generator um, at all um, or you know at least rarely so that's that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.